So a few weeks ago I had a thought, and that was, can you generate motion capture data from a 2D video using AI software? So I'm obviously not a huge computer science whiz, but I took a few classes in college so I can kind of understand a way that you might be able to do this. So you take your basic character and you put them into a T-pose. And once they're in that position, you can understand the actual dimensions of their body and their hand size relative to their head. So if they move their hand forward, it increases by X percentage. And because of the size that the hand increases, you can understand the position of the arm. So regardless of where it is, you can kind of know what the shape of the body is in general. So with that basic concept, I thought, well, hey, there might be a way that you can actually do this. This could be possible. Obviously, this is way out of my league, so I can't do it myself. So I started looking around for something similar to this, and I actually found this company called Radical, which takes 2D video and generates motion capture data out of it using an AI software that works on the same principle as the one that I had theorized. Obviously, it's a lot more complicated than what I had thought of, but it still operates a similar way, so I started to look into it a bit more. And I found that you can get a one-week free trial, and then it's like $8 a month, which is way better than a $3,000 mocap suit that you'd have to buy off the market. Market. And even further, they recently partnered with Epic and now you can transfer that data directly into Unreal. So it's super simple to use once you kind of read through the steps and there's a ton of tutorials on the website that show you how to do it. So I decided to start running some tests with it. And there are just some basic rules to start off. First, you start in the T-pose, you take a step to the left and that's how the program understands your body's dimensions, where you are relative to the camera and all that stuff. But once you're past that point, you can just start your movement and as long as you stay in frame the whole time and no one else comes into frame, then it pretty much just generates the actual mocap data for you. So once you download that, there's a couple more steps, and then you can just assign that to your character in Unreal, and then you have a moving character. As cool and simple as it is to use, it can be a little bit janky, so I wanted to test it to its limits. So I called my friend John, who's back in Boston working on a thesis, and just asked him to record himself with an iPhone. Just two minutes of improvised dancing to copyright free YouTube music just to see how the program handles it. So I brought this into Radical just to see how it would handle it, and there were some pretty glaring issues right off the bat, I'm not gonna lie. Some of those being specifically fast movements, which Think about it like you're using Rotobrush in After Effects. It's, if you're moving really fast, it's gonna give the computer a lot of issues trying to track your actual movements. So it made sense that that would be an issue, but any slow movements, it worked really well. Another issue that I saw was that it continuously recenters your shot. So if you are starting to walk forwards towards the camera or left or right, that all that's all fine. But in Radical itself, you stay stationary, so you have to later go in and animate your character's actual translation in Unreal Engine. There is a way to fix this inside of Radical. I haven't looked super deep into it yet, but there's a special tool that they have that's in beta, but it's it's something. But regardless of those semi-small issues, it does a lot of things really well. One of them being jumping. If you're moving up and down, it knows when you're leaving like the ground plane really well. It, of course, handles slow movements really well because it gives it more time to track it and to understand where you are in the frame. It handles spins surprisingly well. Because if you think about it, if I'm standing here and I move to the side, you no longer see my other arm. So when it comes back into frame, it has to guess kind of where that arm is. But it, it handles spins nearly perfectly. I don't know how they're doing that, but it's working really well. And then finally, it handles poses really well, which makes me think that I kind of have a better understanding of how the system operates. It seems like it keyframes specific poses within your movement, so anytime you're stopped, that's when it is really dead on, but then when you're moving in between those, it's guessing a little bit, so it's not entirely perfect. And then of course, there's always an issue with the hands because it's not doing hand tracking. It's making your hand just like a node in the skeleton, so it won't know if your hand's going up or down or anything like that. But all in all, if you're doing any type of slow movements that's mostly arm-based or leg-based, and you're emphasizing your poses really well within those movements, then this would be a perfect tool to use. I think that this is a phenomenal solution to the mocap issue. Not everyone can spend the $3,000 on a suit, so if you're trying to learn motion capture, then you can totally just use this for a month at a time and just test some stuff out, and then bringing that into Unreal, you can make some really cool stuff out of it. Here's a little bit of a showcase of what I was able to do using just John's movement shot on an iPhone, Radical's mocap data that they generate for $8 a month, and then this free environment that Unreal has on their site called DMX Previs.
and let me know if you have any other software recommendations that you can use to kind of get around the traditional mocap suit route. There's a lot of other programs out there similar to Radical, but Radical seemed like the best fit that I could find. So if you have any other better recommendations, definitely let me know. If you have any questions regarding Radical, there's a ton of resources out there that can help you with that because they have a ton of documentation on the site itself. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.